Hey, all and a good evening from Hong Kong. All right, here we are, day two. Day two, look at that. Hull is wood. It's wood. Wood is good. Let's take a look from the back. These guys are good. I mean, that's all they do is they just do wood boats. So, but so now it's kind of stripped down the same as I did with the transom. As you can see, everything's kind of drying up uh, down on the bottom. All the and it's been pressure washed. So the hole is looking good for drying out anyway. And but now they've stripped the majority of all the varnish off the port side here. And it's looking good. And well, it's looking great. I wish I could swear. Uh, hole's looking good. So that is the port side they've been working on. Um, they're all kind of quitting for the day. So I anyway, will get a view from the view from the uh, port. I got everything. I'm going to be stripping this. Now this will be stripped. And everything's covered in sawdust. It's what I've been living with <laughs> since for the fourth day of November 2014. But anyway, here's a, a view. And it's, uh, it's coming up high tide right now. But as you can see, it's Saturday here. And... Um, these are the boats. Again, that's a wooden boat, but it's all got a, a thin layer of fiberglass over the top of it. Um, this one, they're doing the, the V-berth roof. And that, that one, I'm not sure what they've been doing. It's been sitting there for a while, but this was packed yesterday. Um, this boat over here just got anti-fouled. Um, I don't know if you can see down there. And then you see brand new anode on the rudder. But again, that's a single engine. And, uh, and again, that's uh, that's a party boat. Same as this one, but a single engine. And see if we can... Uh, yeah, they've got this side stripped. All right, I'll pop down and we'll take a look at the, at the bow and the starboard side nice ladder I think in, in America they have what's that OSHA everything here is OSHA approved <laughs> alright so the bow very front been stripped stripping down the starboard that's been stripped I just got to get ground down so what they do is they, they strip off the varnish and that and then they'll um, take the grinder over the top of everything I'm not gonna put the name back on it I'm just gonna let it go back to wood and that and then we'll just I'll have Le Grand Pied Pierre however, however it's pronounced put that on the transom so it'll be Lee Lay Grand Pied and then I'll say Hong Kong underneath it but as you can see here um, this I think has been replaced that's still original teak that is not teak I think that's yucko or whatever it's however it's pronounced but I just know the um, the Cantonese name for this wood it's an iron wood uh, so but this has been stripped you can see down that way as you can see, this one's just been uh, anti-fouled, so it's got anti-foul on it. 
end. I'm not going to be able to get out there too close. Jesus. Biff in my head. So as you can see, even though once they grind it off, we've got some areas that need <clears throat> a lot of attention. So even on this side, we've got a hole, just like we do over on the port side. Um, my vents, I'm definitely going to need to go buy some new vents for both port and starboard. That's air in, that's air out. I'm going to put in exhaust fans. But she uh, kind of breaks my heart is they did this at low tide. And I thought they would kind of clean it up. But I think they're just letting it fall right into the sea. I don't like that at all. But when in Rome, that's all I can do. I'm just the guy paying the bill. <laughs> so, but it's looking good. But we're down, all that neglect varnish is gone. And that has always been one of the hardest things, is getting rid of that. But they had, what, uh, three guys port and four guys four guys starboard here today. I think one of them was, uh, was a new trainee. It's really hard around Hong Kong. Nobody wants to be a carpenter here. Everybody wants to be an investment banker and deal with euros and U.S. dollars and Canadian dollars and everything. But it's looking good. It's looking real good. Alright, but for right now, this side has been ground, so <clears throat> once this is ground now, then they have to go in, assess the wood, and then we have to do the seam, so there's going to be wood done. So I've probably got about five more days, about five more days here in the slipway, and... I think life will be good. Life will be good. And then down here, what I've been kind of doing today is um, I've got the head off. I'm going to I'm relocating the head. It's going to be here. This is all structurally sound. Um, I have put in the PVC board um, because it's just over four feet wide. And that, so I've got a piece in there. So I've, um, I'm just using the polyester, or as the Americans call it, bondo. And that, it seems to work the best. And that, but that's all the PVC board. So that teak has been um, covered, which kind of breaks my heart. But it's going to make the bathroom brighter. So I'm, I've got to relocate uh, the plumbing pipes here. Get the toilet over here, as you can see where I've got my cutout. And that's where that's going to go. Move this block. I'm still going to maintain... I don't want to go with an electric style toilet. Um, my main goal here is to, you know, use as little power <clears throat> as possible. But the power that I make from the solar and everything like that to run my luxuries. And it, to use this, just the, the hand pump, it's vacuum. And these things are always reliable. Uh, sometimes you put too much toilet paper in a, a marine toilet and it gets clogged up. The macerator, the toilet paper goes around, the macerator blades and everything. These things, it's all vacuum. It just, it macerates it with vacuum. It just phwah, puts it into shreds and uh, before it goes to your, to your tank, etc. So I'm still going to maintain the old standard manual toilets and uh so, but in using so, there's this huge chunk of, chunk of teak that I'm going to move over because that, that's what raises it. Normally, this is put on a pedestal in like sailboats and that because of the curve, the curve of the sailboat, and you have it up there, and then your feet will be down below. But anyway, I'm going into too much detail that nobody really cares about, but uh, that's why there's that chunk of teak right there. So I'm going to move this over here, put that on top of it. I am going to be buying 
uh, a, a new arm. This I can actually, this vacuum arm, and that I'm going to buy a new one. And that the, the O-ring in it I've tried to replace. Just it doesn't seem to work. And they're they're cheap as chips. So so I'm going to have that. And I'm relocate the white the pipes over. It's not like I'm using it in the slipway. <laughs> So it gives a chance to do that, and then I can uh, start getting this. I, I'm, I'm really trying to figure out what I'm going to do here in the bathroom um, for over here, but because I still want to get a sink, and I can't find a small enough one. Um, I don't want a right angle there. I would like to try to get it curved in that, because it's just to wash your hands or brush your teeth. That's all it is, and then you go out and enjoy the day on the boat. So, I've got to figure out what I'm going to do. But right now, um, things are going. Once I have to sand this, I'm going to sand everything else. And then I'll be able to start to varnish. Last thing I do is put on the polyester urethane white paint over this. Prime it, paint it, it's done. Um, so, but I still have this on. I'll have to take that off. But that's what's going on with the head. So, um, nothing else has really kind of changed. It's been gone over I was down in the engine room um, today working on the port started taking off some of the injector pipes that go into the cylinders um, that I got to take the valve covers off. it's just it's it's ugly so but other than that here we go my favorite sandpan driver well he's not my favorite he's just the old man he's grumpy I mean he is just an owly old man but he's uh he's reliable so, that's what's going on. Here's a junk coming in. Uh, these are for the Jumbo restaurant. This is, uh, they take, because of the floating Jumbo restaurant that's over here. One of Hong Kong's, um, I mean, it's it's old. Been on fire. It's been in movies, international movies. But anyway, these haul uh, people to the Jumbo because it's a floating restaurant. So, and that's, uh, uh, Fage or Kage, Kage, uh, they do speedboats and stuff. Uh, the, the owner, he, he's a character. Uh, he's deaf and that, and he reads lips. Um, doesn't read English, only Cantonese, and uh, and he's quite the character. So it's kind of fun being over here in this area. All right. Well, anyway, um, that's the view of where we're at. Just look at all that crap in the water. You know, and sadly enough, I think some of those wood chips and stuff like that is my varnish. Oh, I don't like it. Don't like it at all. Folks, I wish I had control over that, but I don't. Hmm. Not a good thing, but... Wow, uh, what you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Six of one, half a dozen of the other, huh? Alright, guys, well... From Allen in Hong Kong, well, Allen and May in Hong Kong, be good, be safe, and always be well. Bye-bye.